We are back with a brand new video. MGK dropped a new album, Mainstream Sellout. We're gonna check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the album. Let's see if it's better or worse than his last album, Tickets to My Downfall. First song, Born With Horns. Let's go. Okay, first song was interesting. I honestly thought it was gonna be a darker sound because last year we thought the album was called Born With Horns and then the single like Paper Cuts, which actually has a different version on this album we're gonna get to later. Um, kind of just had like a different sound to it. It was still, you know, punk rock, but it was more of a darker sound and we didn't get that on this song. Okay, second song, God Save Me. Six That, that part's so weird to, where the song just like freezes for a second and then it brings you back in. I don't know if I like that or not, but so far the first two songs just sound, you know, decent. They're just good album songs. They're not anything crazy to me off of this first listen. <laughs> I liked it more when the chorus came back in. It basically just seems like he's going crazy. That's what I kind of get from this song. And there's a lot of problems. And uh, he had that one line, like uh, talking about his, his dad, which, you know, he talked about on the last album, which was, don't get me sad, you know, just don't get me sad right now. Track three was a single. Uh, it's got a feature on it. Um, I'm going to re-listen to it because honestly, I've heard it a couple times. And I, you know, I thought it was good. I, I love the other singles, Emo Girl and then uh, the other song with Lil Wayne. Track four is one I'm probably most excited for. It's a second Lil Wayne feature on this album, which I think every artist should go buy themselves a Lil Wayne feature because they're so good every single time. Like the first Wayne feature we had on this album was literally so good and one of my favorite verses this year. Even though it is a short song and a short verse, he just kills it. Like it just elevates the song so much. Like it, it's every, like I know he doesn't try either. Like he doesn't, I know he just freestyles it. <laughs> Wayne, unless the song is about to take a turn here for a second, I'm really excited to hear Wayne on like this rock stuff because I mean he's done it before, technically like ten years ago or maybe even that maybe that was longer, but you know he did that rock uh, lane that I don't think did too well for him, but that rebirth stuff if you know what I'm talking about. Looking to be my favorite so far. Let's hear Wayne though. I'm back to all these nuns, just the whole town just down for me. was good like it fit the song well and then and now that we're back into the hook this is really like good this is a really good song this is the best one so far it's a wall of famous people yeah wow la sucks <laughs> i can't yes. wait Davidson. are you on the wall daddy mainstream fill out the next song not seen one positive thing on Twitter. I mean, I'm not going to for, you know, most hip hop Twitter accounts, but when it comes to this song though, uh, you know, basically this is what people are saying to him, leave the scene. You're ruining it, talking about hip hop. He's a poser with his guitar and that he, you know, fakes being like this emo character. Um, he makes an album and puts it out. They hate it, they hate everything. Uh, leave the rap game. I mean, that's what this lyrically is and that's honestly what people say. So I guess he realizes it 
Um, I guess he doesn't care. I mean, I wouldn't care either if, you know, I'm going number one and I'm bagging Megan Fox. I mean, shit. Does he even like play guitar? And that was a loud song. That was him basically talking his shit. He might, you know, fake play the guitar. I don't fucking know. I don't care. You know, it's not that deep, bro. But now we got makeup sex. This is with Black Bear. So let's see how this goes. That's not the right song. Good, good album song there. I felt like they were kind of just trying to recreate my ex's best friend. That's kind of what I got from it, but still overall a good song because then the next one we have is Emo Girl um, with Willow, which was a good single in my opinion. They both kind of went off on that song. I've been liking that one. Recently, I did not like it at first, um, and then about, you know, about a week or two ago, I started liking it. So, the next song after that, track nine, uh, 5150. I'm not really sure what that means. Roses don't heal overnight, I'm a few steps from pulling the trigger. Self-abusive on the borderline, you're crazy, I'm 50, I won't go, I'm 50, you make me, I'm 50. Okay, I feel like that song was a little forgettable. I don't know. I don't really know what that shit really meant, if I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like lyrically I did not connect to it as much. The next one we do have is Paper Cuts, which was a single. It had uh, weirdly a Cole Bennett music video to it. I don't really know if like the direction of this album is gonna change or not. It's been pretty upbeat pop punk stuff I expected so far. Um, so, you know, we're gonna see if the sound changes from here. <laughs> I feel like the guitar is already different. Damn. Tucked in a little rap verse there at the end. This was gonna be a song on the album, but I can't sing anything right now, so this is the song. <laughs> okay, um, bro is literally just a troll, I swear. Next song is A with Lil Wayne. This song sounds really good. I, I love it. Wayne's verse is the best part of the song. I think it's kind of an interesting song. It makes me want to float. It's like dreamy in a way. I love the little sample thing that's going on in the beat. Ian Dior feature. Love to see it. They literally just feature on every single album. Either of them drop. I love it. Um, fake love don't last. Let's see what it sounds like. I want you to know that you can't come back. I want you to That little I, I, I wanna, that part, it's catchy, it's again more upbeat, I like this song, I like the way that these tempo of songs sound, you get me? Ian's verse, he sounded a little different, uh, but the beat kinda did change for him, which I, I liked. I'll take an MGK and Ian Dior collab rock album, that would be, that'd be fire, I'm totally just making that shit up, just to say it, but... I don't know what the fuck this is gonna be. Um, Die in California featuring Gunna, Young Thug, and Landon Bake Barker. So I just assume that's Travis Barker's son, you know, Travis Barker, executive producing. I know I might die in California, die in California. Hey, someone cut the lights off, please. I've been kinda sad lately. A house in the hills and I fucking hate it. Killed me, I used to be. I might die in California in my oh, mind I had a dream That ain't gonna, but that ain't slime They gon' be missing me, it's gonna be
me cares when it color to the real tees. I keep it still, I miss the ace, and that's by any means. Watch out for us, watch out for cars, they can for anything. I got on powder shoes and powder tea. I love my brother, rest in peace, I know you're proud of me. Don't need a, I don't oh, need he's killing this shit, dude. Whoa, my speaker did not just die. Are you fucking with me, dude? L, YouTuber, bro. She's trying to kiss her while we ride. Ooh, I love this part. Singing is good. Killed me, I used to be. If MGK just did the hook, that would have made the song a lot more fire. Um, and I'm not saying Landon Barker had to be cut out of the song by any means. He just, and I know I'm not familiar with him either, but I just feel like his voice was just so much more dead compared to Thug singing. Gunna was also, you know, singing and he killed his part. And then, you know, MGK had his part. I mean, you know, Landon and uh, MGK sound a lot more alike. Um, so I'm glad that they kind of, you know, vocalized together at the end of the song. That was a good song. That was actually one of my favorites. I mean, that's just the type of shit. It's like, what the fuck? But man, Gunna and Young Thug are crazy. Those are two of my favorite artists. I don't think that's like album of the year. And I can clearly tell his last album takes my downfall was better. Let me know what do you guys think is better in the comments below. But I love the first Lil Wayne feature we had on Drug Dealer. I think Mainstream Sellout, the title track was good. Emo Girl was good. Paper Cuts, you know, is a good song. A, honestly, nothing special so far. Now I think of it, this album isn't crazy, crazy. I'm not like going crazy right now over this album compared to the last one. Um, but yeah, the one with Ian Dior was good. Um, I think they've made better songs. I definitely got to, you know, get more listens into this album. And I feel like it does take like the first week for stuff to really click. Uh, Die in California with Gunna and Young Thug and Landon Barker, all that. Just another good album in his catalog. So, I mean, this is a W. I'm heading out here. More thoughts over on Twitter. So go follow me there. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell as well. So you guys stay notified when I post new videos. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys later.